Fuzzy Mud by Lewis Sacker. This book was published in 2015 and is recommended for fifth graders. Tamaya was a fifth grader at the private school called Wood Ridge Academy. It was an excellent school, but built in the middle of the woods, outlined with metal link fences. Tamaya had always been told never to enter the woods. To avoid the woods, Tamaya and Marshall walked around them every day to get to school. It made for a long trek but being best friends, they didn't mind. After having a particular hard day at school, where her friends deemed Tamaya a goody-two-shoe, she couldn't wait to go home. While waiting outside for Marshall to walk home, Tamaya continued to fume about what her friends had said. Marshall came out and brushed straight past her, heading for the metal link fence. Tamaya screamed after Marshall, asking what he was doing. Taking a shortcut, he replied. I don't care if you come, but I'm going, Marshall said, sliding through a loose piece of fencing. Tamaya freezes and thinks. She knows entering the woods is wrong, but her mother will be upset if she comes home without Marshall. Tamaya slips through the fence while whispering, now who's the goody-goody? Meanwhile, at a secret investigation into Sunray Farms, the government is questioning Jonathan Fitzman about an invention called Bioline. Confidential files show us that bioline is a clean energy gasoline created from ergies. Over a gazillion ergies exist, and it only costs 19 cents a gallon to produce them. As Tamaya and Marshall stumble through the woods, it becomes clear they have no idea where they are going. Tamaya, getting spooked by all the noises, demands to know when they will be home. Marshall finally caves. He explains how he irritated the new kid, Chad. Chad threatened to beat him up on the way home, so he figured he would cut through the woods to avoid him. Marshall promises to get them out. He needs to climb to higher grounds to get a better view. While he leaves, Tamaya begins to study her surroundings. That's when she notices the fuzzy mud. Tamaya sees a person in the distance. Thinking they could help, she begins to scream. However, when they get closer... She realizes it is Chad. Chad demands to know where Marshall is. Marshall appears at the top of the hill and Chad charges. The boys throw punches at each other while Tamaya screams at them to stop. Instincts overcome Tamaya as she reaches into the fuzzy mud, runs at Chad, and shoves it into his face. Marshall grabs Tamaya and begins running, hoping to put enough distance between them. Finally, Marshall and Tamaya make it to a road. Marshall realizes where they are and assures Tamaya they will be home in no time. However, Tamaya's hand begins to tingle. She rubs it with the other one to try and relieve it. It doesn't hurt. It's just uncomfortable. Two times one equals two. Two times two equals four. Tamaya gives her mom an excuse as she quickly enters the house. She doesn't want her to see how dirty her school uniform has become. Tamaya cleans up and heads to bed, hoping her hand will feel better in the morning. Two times four equals eight. Two times eight equals sixteen. When Tamaya wakes up, she realizes her hands are covered in red bumps, and her bed is covered in a white powder. Tamaya shows her mom, and she promises to take her to the doctor's after school. Two times sixteen equals thirty-two. 2 times 32 equals 64. Tamaya and Marshall walk to school together in the morning. While Tamaya shows Marshall the rash, he is still distracted by Chad. 2 times 64 equals 128. 2 times 128 equals 256. There is no sign of Chad at school. Marshall is still on edge that Chad will appear at any moment so he keeps to himself all day. 2 times 256 equals 512. 2 times 512 equals 1,024. Meanwhile, Tamaya's rash continues to spread up her arms. She finally goes to the nurse to try and get some relief. The nurse thinks she might be having an allergic reaction. All Tamaya can think about is the fuzzy mud. Two times 1,024 equals 2,048. Two times 
2048 equals 4096. What is fuzzy mud? What is causing Tamaya's rash? Where is Chad? And what's with all the multiplication? Quick walk, don't run, and grab this selection. Be careful, your next step may be your last. I would give this book five stars.